so dear learners here we are with unit number 4 applications of partial differentiation there are a number of applications such as jacobians finding maxima minima of two functions of three functions after that there is error sign approximations and also functional dependence and now among these we are going to pick one here so for the same here what is prerequisite already during your 11th or 12th you must have studied that how to find maxima and minima see there is one question so i think there will be question answer session in the last uh, uh, will all the units yes, yes. So we will uh, uh, tell you about the same we are going to intimate about that same uh, at appropriate time so that is not a concern mm, definitely we are going to take uh, uh, help take care of all these factors so the prerequisite is that during your earlier you must have studied fx is a function of only one variable and if we want to find maxima and minima of that function so what is the first step if we said y equal to f of x then we we find or we find f dash of x after finding we are equating it to zero and solve then we will be getting some values for x so you may get one value or more than one values of x and for it, such values are called as stationary points or critical points and that means that at those points the function fx is going to attain either maximum or minimum value now the question is that whether maximum or minimum we just know that it is, it is extremum now so for that case we have to find a second derivative d square y by dx square and that is also f double dash of x and put uh, one particular value suppose x is a stationary point put x is equal to a so if this uh, second derivative is coming as a positive quantity then we say that the function f attains minimum at the stationary point x is equal to a and if the second derivative at x equal to a is coming as negative then we conclude that f x is going to attain maximum at the stationary point x is equal to a so this is the prerequisite so this was limited to a function of only one variable now we are going to learn maxima and minima for a function of two variables and in the next session for so i am getting some calls uh, so here u is a u equal to f of xy be a continuous function of two variables x and y the point at which the function f is either maximum or minimum is known as a stationary point and also it can be called as a critical point critical or decisive point the value of the function at stationary point is known as extreme extremum that is either maximum or minimum value of that function okay now this uh, screen is going to be very important very much useful to all of us here we are going to see the working rule to find extremum of a function of two variables so here see the first step is for given function f of two variables x and y you have to find 
first order partial derivatives as dev y by dev y x and dev y by dev y. Both are equated to be uh, to zero and are to be solved simultaneously for all possible combinations of x and y. Then, as such, among so many doublets, a b b one doublet, and that is called as a stationary point or critical point. Next step: obtain the values of r, that is, dy square f by dy x square. Then is dy square f upon dy x into dy y, and t dy square f upon dy y square. These are second order partial derivatives. In the third step, if R T minus S square is positive and R negative, if R is negative, T will also be negative. Okay, so you have to just check R or T, any one of these. At the given stationary point, then the function is going to attain maximum at that point, and the maximum value of the function is given by f of A comma B S. Then second, if R T minus S square is positive and R is also positive, that means T will also be positive at the given stationary point. Then the function is going to attain minimum at that point, and the minimum value of the function will be given by f of A comma B. Another possibility is that. If R T minus S square is negative at the stationary point, then the function is neither maximum nor minimum at that point, and such a point is called as a saddle point. One more possibility that is remaining is that R T minus S square is equal to zero at the stationary point. In that case, no conclusion can be drawn about the extreme value of the function, and further. Investigation in another way is needed because whatever the theory has been studied, invented till now, that is not enough to come to the conclusion under this situation. So a few seconds, you can have a screenshot of the same. Definitely, I will try to present this video also to you. After that, let us solve some six problems in this session. So here. Is the first problem. Discuss uh, the maxima and minima of the function f is equal to 3x square minus y square plus x cube. So let us try to solve this together. So the given function is f of x y is equal to 3x square minus y square plus x cube. So uh, you can correct me whenever I am wrong. Let us find first first order derivative dy by f by dy by x, and that is equal to 6x minus 0 plus 3 into x square. Now dy by f by dy by x equal to 0 gives gives 3x square plus 6x is equal to 0. That is I think 3 into x is common, so remaining part is x plus 2, and that is equal to 0, and that is 3 cannot be 0. This is possible only when x equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 2. Similarly, let us find dy by f by dy by y. So derivative of f partially with respect to y will be 0 minus 2y plus 0. And dy by f by dy by y is equal to zero. Q is minus two into y is equal to zero. That is the only possibility is equal to y equal to zero. Thus, the stationary points are here x equal to zero. Y is equal to zero and x is equal to minus two. Y equal to zero. So in this problem, we got two stationary points. Now what uh, is going to happen further? 
so for that we will have to obtain second order partial derivatives so for the same r r is equal to dab square f upon dab x square dab by by dab x is this much so derivative of it again partially with respect to x and that will be equal to 6x plus 6 then s s is equal to there are two ways see you can differentiate dab by, by dab x partially with respect to y it will be zero or you can differentiate dab by, by dab y partially with respect to x in both the cases we are going to get the same answer then t t is equal to dab square f upon dab y square we see dab i by dab y is minus 2y, its derivative again partially with respect to y will be equal to minus 2. So with this knowledge, let us uh, go for the stationary points one after the another. So here you can see, I, so we will have to go the first situation at, I think, x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. At x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, r. R ka yasna re. So, I see R equal to 6x plus 6. So, x equal to 0. R equal to 6. Then, S. S is equal to 0. S is constant. And T. T is equal to, actually T equal to minus 2. Constant. So, at 0 comma 0, RT minus S square is equal to minus 12 negative so what can you conclude please tell me please tell you have taken sangha function is maximum maximum minimum nine neither no maximum. neither minimum. Minimum. See here, this is the table. RT minus neither is, there is neither maximum nor minimum. Such a point is called as a saddle point. So there is neither maximum nor minimum at zero zero. It is a saddle point. Okay. Uh, so let us move to the next stationary point that is at. The next stationary point is x equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 0. x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 0. Here r. r you can see r is equal to 6x plus 6. So it will be, tell me. 6x plus 6. It is R. Minus 12 plus 6. Minus 6. S is constant. S is equal to 0. T is equal to minus 2 again constant. And therefore, RT minus S square is equal to is equal to 12. Positive quantity and R. R is also negative. I have already told R and T will have the same sign if RT minus S square is positive. Both will be positive or both will be negative. So in this case, what is your conclusion? Therefore, Sangha, there is Kai. Minimum. 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 I think that you need to see that uh, slide over again and again. Maximum. Sir, maximum. There is maximum. Maximum at minus 2 comma 0. And further, f max is equal to f of minus 2 comma 0. And uh, I want to see what the function was. Function ka the 3x square minus y square plus x cube. So, 3x square minus y square 
plus x cube no? so we can solve this so this will be 3 into 4 minus 0 and this will be minus 8 so 12 minus 8 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 so in this way we have solved this problem so if you want to take screenshot you can so this is the first if you are writing that is also nice and this is the second thing let us move for the second problem discuss the maxima and minima of the function f is equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3 uh, into a into x into y and again see let us assume that here a is a finite positive real number otherwise you will be uh, in little confusion so here while solving solution f f is equal to x cube plus y cube minus 3 a x y solving del by by del by x is equal to 3 x square plus 0 minus 3 into a into y i think you are with me so del by by del by x is equal to 0 gives gives 3 x square minus 3 a y equal to 0 that is equal to 3 into a into y and therefore that is we can say that x square is equal to a into y so if i am calling f as this first equation this as second equation now again we are to consider dab by, by dab y equal to zero now see in f of x comma y which is defined as x cube plus y cube minus 3 into a into x into y so the roles of x and y are the same means if i interchange the roles of x and y f of y comma x will be y cube plus x cube minus 3 into a into y into x so we are going to get the same thing so instead of doing all the things repeatedly i will be saying in this starting dab by, by dab x equal to 0 gives x square is equal to a y i will say that instead of x write y instead of y write x dabai by dabo y equal to 0 gives y square is equal to a into x so this is equation 3 so we have to solve this to first order partial differential equations simultaneously for x and y let us try to solve so here i will try to eliminate y so that i will be getting uh, the value of x i think it, it is fine now see friends how to solve i have to eliminate y so equation 2 equation 2 is x square is equal to a y and equation 3 is y square is equal to a x so in equation 3 there is y square we have to eliminate y square so let us square both this equation so this will be x to the power 4 is equal to a square into y square and therefore using 3 i will be putting value of y square x to the power 4 is equal to a to the power 2 into y square is equal to a into x and therefore x to the power 4 is equal to a cube into x and therefore x cube equal to a cube okay, na? x cube is equal to u cube one more thing what do you realize s therefore x is equal to a x is equal to a now you can put this information x is equal to a in either equation 2 or 3 you are going to get the same thing so x square that is a square is equal to a into y and therefore you will be getting y is equal to a so x equal to a and y is equal to a 
therefore the stationary point is x equal to a comma y equal to a okay now we have to find r s and t already we have dy by, by dy by x is equal to here 3x square minus 3 ay so differentiate it partially with respect to x and we will be getting dy by square f by dy by x square equal to 6x dy by square f by dy by x square equal to 6x that is called as r then s s is equal to dy by square f upon dy by x into dy by y what to do here differentiate dy by f by dy by x partially with respect to y that will be minus 3a otherwise you can differentiate dy by f by dy by y we have not found it but you will be getting the same thing so that will be dy by f by dy by y will be 3y square minus 3a into x differentiate it partially with respect to y and you will be getting again minus 3a okay and t t is equal to dy square f y dy by y square so the ro roles of x and y are same so i will be saying here that will be 6 into y straight away now at the point p the only stationary point is x is equal to a and y is equal to a here r equal to 6 into a s is equal to minus 3a and t equal to 6 into a and therefore rt minus a square is equal to 6a into 6a minus minus 3a to the power 2 so this is equal to 36a square minus 9a square and this is equal to 27 into a square so this is positive quantity as rt minus a square is positive and r r is equal to 6a 6a na? that is also positive that means the function f attains please tell me minimum 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 so here attains minimum at this is our conclusion and further further we can say f minimum is equal to f minimum is equal to f of a comma a and that is equal to let us go back to the function x cube plus y cube minus 3 a x y so a cube plus a cube minus 3 into a into a into a and that is equal to i think that will be minus a to the power 3 2a cube minus 3a cube that is equal to minus a cube okay so uh, please take screenshot of the first so these are very important problems definitely we are going to discuss sufficient number of problems six theoretical problems as well as more than six mcq problems in this session and then we are going to have a pause this is the next Third problem, discuss the maxima and minima of f is equal to x cube plus 3x into y square minus 15x square minus 15y square plus 72x. So again, let us solve. So we'll see that the difficulty level is consistently increasing i think let me write once again x cube plus 3x into y square minus 15 x square minus 15 y square plus 72 into x Just let us call this equation one dy by f by dy by x derivative of a partially with respect to x will be 3 x square uh, plus 3y square minus 0 minus 0 plus 72 okay so dy by dy by x is equal to 0 gives 
I know that uh, you can divide by three and you will be getting x square plus y square plus how much? 24 and that is equal to zero. So I hope that I am correct. Kaitir rahe laga? Nice, sir. Barabar. Minus 15 x square. Minus 15. <laughs> Something is remaining. So let me correct. So this is, uh, I think, uh, minus 30x. Yes, minus 30x is remaining. Minus 30x. Yes, yes. So, x, uh, minus 30x plus 72. And dividing by 3, it will be x square plus y square minus. 10x plus 24 is equal to 0. I think uh, this is going to be uh, with okay. Now, similarly, uh, we cannot say that x and y have the same rule, so I cannot directly write. We have to find dy by dy separately. So, divide by divide y will be equal to 0 plus 6 into x into y minus 0 minus 30 into y. That's all. And divide f by divide y is equal to 0 gives. Again, we can divide by 6 this time. So, this will be x into y minus 5 into y is equal to 0. And therefore, here y is common x minus 5 is equal to 0 and therefore y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5. These are the options. So, uh, after finding dy f by dy y equal to 0, we are getting these two values. Okay. So, what is to be done? We have to put these values one after the another. I am calling this as equation 3. So, put x is equal to 5 into so what will be the answer 25 plus y square minus 10 into 5 that is 50 plus 24 is equal to 0 and therefore this will be is equal to y square is equal to sagavara kainar Minus one. Minus y square minus one. Equal y is equal to one. One sir, one. One. Therefore, y is equal to minus one plus one. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. So stationary points are stationary points are. Here we have started with x is equal to 5, we got y is equal to minus 1 and x equal to 5, y equal to plus 1. These are two, but uh, this was only with x is equal to 5. So here we got after solving dy by, by dy by y equal to 0, we had got y is equal to 0 also. So put y equal to 0 in equation 2. So I will be writing put y equal to 0 in 2 in equation 2. What we will be getting? So, x square plus 0. So, we will be getting x square plus 0. Which is answer minus 10 into x minus 10 into x plus 24 plus 24 is equal to 0. And this is quadratic. Uh, so, you can uh, apply that formula or you can get the factors. I am not very much expert in uh, uh, this calculus immediately. 12 into 2. Uh, 12 into 2. So minus 12. Minus 12 plus 2. Minus 12 plus 2x plus 24 is equal to 0. Therefore, x into x minus 12. Uh, no, sir. 6 and minus 6 and minus 4. Minus 6 and minus 4, sir. Uh, minus 6 and? Minus four. Minus four. Okay. So what shall I write first? Minus six. 
माइनस सिक्स माइनस फोर ओके माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर एक्स इनटू एक्स माइनस सिक्स माइनस फोर एक्स माइनस सिक्स सो द फैक्टर्स आर एक्स माइनस फोर एंड एक्स माइनस सिक्स एंड देर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर कॉमस सिक्स एंड देर फोर टू मोर stationary points are so this take care that do not uh, necessary please i i need to unmute you two more stationary points are x equal to 4 y equal to 0 And x is equal to six, y is equal to zero. Already we have this: five minus one, five plus one, and four zero six zero. So here, this was the function. Then we have to find R, I S T. But R S T can do ya apan ante chan antar ha table. Konte point hote baga? Five minus one, five plus one. Then four zero, and six zero. Hey, four stationary point me aale. And after that, see. R double square by double x square. You can uh, already we have find first order partial derivatives. We have to differentiate those. Otherwise, x is in front of you, and you can take a second order partial derivative of that. X cube the second derivative can be six x. After that, you can understand minus thirty. Okay, so R is equal to six x minus thirty. Then s s can be double square by double x into double y. So differentiate first with respect to x and with respect to y later on. So the only term we'll be getting that is from second term in f, 3x into y square. With respect to x, I have 3y square, and with respect to y, 6y. And after that, t double square f by double y square. So we have to differentiate f two times partially with respect to y, and we'll be getting 6x minus 3. So everything is in front of you. Now let us go. The first stationary point is x equal to five, y is equal to minus one. Baga. So here r put here x equal to six, y is equal to minus one. So thirty minus thirty, this is r is equal to zero. Then s is six into y. So six into minus one is minus six. T t is six x minus thirty. Put here again. Uh, you. you R and T are same, so in this problem we will be getting same values of R and T. Okay, so R T minus S square is equal to you can understand zero minus minus six whole square minus thirty. So R T minus S square is negative. So the conclusion is that there is neither maximum nor minimum. So this point is a saddle point. Okay, at the next again for x is equal to five. And y is equal to plus one. We are getting the same values. Same conclusion is there. The next saddle point is uh, sorry. Next uh, stationary point is four comma zero. So r is six into four. Twenty four minus thirty is minus six. S is six into zero. Zero. And again t will be same as r. And r t minus s square will be equal to plus thirty six. This is positive quantity. R t minus s square. R is negative, so the function attains maximum at this point. Further, what is maximum? So this s f maximum is equal to f four comma zero. So you see at the top function has been defined. So replace x with four and y with zero. So four cube plus zero minus fifteen into four square minus zero. Plus seventy two into four. After solving, we are getting the answer one one two. Now, for the remaining side, uh, remaining stationary point six comma zero, r is equal to six into six thirty six minus thirty six. T will be the same thing, and six into zero is zero. So r t minus s square is positive. R is also positive. So function will attain minimum at that stationary point, and f minimum. F minimum is equal to f four comma zero, that is six cube plus zero minus fifteen into six square minus zero plus seventy two into six 
after solving this as 108. So definitely you will like to take screenshot of the same. So here, this was the problem. This is the first screen. I'm going for the next. Second. And the third is here. Okay. So you can take screenshot of this also. Let us move for the next problem. Discuss the maxima and minima of f is equal to sin x plus sin y plus sin of x plus y. So this is trigonometric function. Let us try to solve this here. Again, you have to remain very much alert because is my usual practice to go wrong somewhere and then everything next will be wrong. So this function fx y is equal to sin x plus sin y plus sin of x plus y. Okay. So let us call this equation one. Dab f by dab x differentiate partially. So this will be cos of x plus zero plus cos of x plus y okay so dab f by dab x is equal to 0 will give us cos of x plus cos of x plus y is equal to 0 i am calling this as equation number 2 okay now friend again i have identified that in this function if i Interchange roles of x and y, I am going to get the same thing f of y comma x is sin y plus sin x plus sin of y plus x, which is again the uh, same thing. Okay. Now, you can see, uh, say similarly, or you can, if you are very much uh, enthusiastic, you can perform all the steps and it will be giving us. So, dab y by dab y uh, will give us cos of y plus cos of y plus x, that is x plus y is equal to 0. I am calling this as equation 3. So, if we um, we have to solve simultaneously dab y by dab x equal to 0, dab y by dab y equal to 0, we are getting equations 2 and 3. So, you have to be very much careful here. You can say as right hand sides are same, you can say cos of x plus cos of x plus y, or you can even subtract one from each other and you will be getting. So, what you are going to get? Tell me. Yes. Kai karna, 2 minus 3 ke lakai minor. Angana. Cos x minus cos y is equal to 0. Is equal to 0. Yes. Cos x minus cos y is equal to 0. Manjas kai? Cos x is equal to cos y. Manjas kai? X is equal to y. He asu, asu shakta. Huh? Okay. Again, see, you can use now either equation 2 or 3, put x equal to y. So, you will be getting equation 2, cos of x plus cos of x plus x cos of 2x that is equal to 0. So, this will be equal to therefore cos of 2x will be equal to minus cos of x and therefore cos of 2x will be equal to can you tell me here I am writing the formula cos of pi minus theta equal to Sangabara cos of pi minus theta. Cos theta. Yes, cos theta. Uh, minus cos theta. Minus cos plus. Cos. Plus. Second quadrant, na, pi minus theta means. In second quadrant, cos is negative. Okay. Minus cos theta. Sin, sin cosec is positive. So I think. Uh, minus. Uh, cos of pi minus theta is minus cos theta. So. What will be minus cos x? 
माइनस कॉज एक्स विल बी माइनस एक्स कॉज ऑफ पाई माइनस एक्स एंड देर फोर वी कैन से दैट टू एक्स इक्वल टू पाई माइनस एक्स वी कैन से थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू पाई एंड देर फोर एक्स इक्वल टू पाई बाई थ्री ओके एंड ऑलरेडी वो सेड एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई सो एक्स इक्वल टू पाई बाई थ्री देन वाई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाई थ्री सो दिस इज गोइंग टू सेटिस्फाई both these equations 2 and 3 which are originated from this d by by d by x equal to 0 and d by by d by y is equal to 0 thus thus the only the stationary point is p pi by 3 comma pi by okay i will have to do all the things once uh, one, uh, once again so after this r r manje ka asta d by square a by d by x square so this is equal to ata baka lakshat gya r ka aapla d by a by d by x ha hota cos x plus cos of x plus y you differentiate it partially again with respect to x then we will be getting minus sin x minus sin x plus y i am writing that Minus sine x minus sine of x plus y. Okay, then s s is equal to d by square a upon d by x into d by y. So uh, one option differentiate d by by d by x partially with respect to y. That will be zero minus sine x plus y minus sine x plus y. And t, we know in this problem x and y have the same roles. So from R you can write d by t equal to d by square a by d by y square. That will be minus sine y minus sine of y plus x. I am writing x plus y. So these are R, A, S, T. Now at the point P, pi by three, comma pi by three, what is going to happen? R is equal to sine gamma. Minus sine pi by three minus sine of two times pi by three. Ah, sine pi by three means what? Sine sixty. Sine sixty. What is it? Root three by two. Root three by two. Okay, so it will be minus root three by two. Then minus. Lakshad gya. Sine of one twenty. Sine one twenty. So that is sine of root three by ninety plus thirty. So it is, I think, second quadrant. Uh, that is plus cos thirty. Again, root three by two. So again, my uh, minus root three by two, and this will be minus two times root three by two. So minus root three. Similarly, t. You can understand r and t are the same. But before that, let us find s. S is equal to minus sine root pi by three plus pi by three means two pi by three, and that will be equal to minus root three by two. And t t will be again same as r that is minus root three. I am writing it directly, and therefore r t minus s square. So r manje ki the minus root three t per minus root three i, and minus S minus root three upon two to the power two, so this will be equal to three minus three upon four. Three is common. Then one minus one by four, that is, sanga, four by four minus one by four. Three by four. Nine by four, Anna. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. this is positive. So I will be writing on the next as R T minus S square is positive and एक तो R बगा नहीं तो S बगा. R की दी है minus root three. So minus root three, which is negative. The function f Attends. Sanga maximum ka minimum. Maximum. 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 
at uh, at the point five by three, five by three comma five by three, and further we can say further f max f max equal to f of pi by three comma pi by three. So this is equal to f. Kya hota aplo? F f was sin x plus sin y plus sin of x plus y. Okay. So sin of pi by three plus sin pi by three plus sin of x plus y. Man, just sin of two times pi by three. So again, you can see. Sine pi by three. Sine pi by three. Please, Sangha, Mala. I am. I am very big, big in trigonometry. Root three by two. Root three by two. Root three by two. Okay. This is again uh, root three by two. And again, I think it was root three by two, na? Yes, sir. Where on? Where were na? Sine one twenty. Sine one two eight twenty will be sine ninety plus thirty. So that is plus cos thirty. Okay, so this is three times root three by two. This is the answer. So I hope you understood this also. So if you are interested, you can take screenshot. Okay. After that, this is the second. And this is the next one. Okay, is it clear? Sir. Bola. Bola bola. Yes, you can ask. If somebody wanted to ask. Deba square f upon deba x deba y. I need to cut the point. Ah, cut it. What's the problem? Ka? Ah, I will go. Ah, is it? Ka? Hard problem, na? Which are a part? Can? R ka sa kaila the? Pay the ka? Yes, yes. Ah, ah. Okay, okay. The chaa di the screen baga. Apna problem ka hota. The chaa di the. Hey, baga. आर नहीं सर यस यस का हाँ यस ठीक है ना बगा दोन प्रकार है तेरे चमड़े यस मंजे का डबल स्क्वायर है पापूं डबल एक्स इनटू डबल वाई है ना तो कैसा प्रकार है कार्य जाते तुम्हारा समझने सांग तो मिलता सो देर आर टू एक मिनट सी फॉर दैट आई नीड टू फाइंड राइट सम कंटेंट्स फ्रॉम प्रीवियस स्ल मक्षे प्रॉब्लम में देखा होता मक्षे स्लेड में देख डेबाइ एक्स बाय डेबाइ एक्स क्या होता तेली उनके तो मिल डेबाइ एक्स बाय डेबाइ वाई क्या होता संगा डेबाइ डेबाइ बाय डेबाइ एक्स कॉज एक्स प्लस कॉज ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई ना बरोबर है अत एस का सकार है जा एस का फॉर्मूला डेबाइ स्क्वेयर एप अपॉन डेबाइ � so that means what does this mean? एक तो तुम्ही differentiate करा actually यही है क्या है dba by dba y of dba by dba x so differentiate dba by dba x partially with respect to y so derivative of cos of x partially with respect to y will be zero and derivative of cos of x plus y partially with respect to y will be minus sine of x plus y actually अपन क्या कर रहे हैं dba square f by dba y into dba x कर लो वर्ग। जब तुम वाला dba square f by dba x into dba y कर रहे थे असल तो आधी का है किशोर ने कर रहे थे dba f by dba y लिया है जो and differentiated partially with respect to x अच्छा पद्धति दोनों उत्तर सेम है जैसा so already we have seen some problems in unit number three if f is so and so then verify that dba square f upon dba x into dba y is exactly same as Dabba square f upon dabba y into dabba x. Okay. So order is not important. Order of 
the differentiation is not important as long as given function is continuous in x and y. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. So let us see. Are there? Ha! Huh, this is really interesting problem. I think after this there will be MCQ problems. Ha! Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, we are very much aware that uh, during this time because of this pandemic situation, instead of theory examination, there is going to be online examination, and the timetable is also available with you. So we are prepared for. all the possibilities we have we are discussing this is the sixth problem uh, which is of theoretical in nature and after that we will be discussing more than six problems which uh, and uh, such such problems identical problems are expected in your nsem sppu online examination yes we are going to take care of that also so let us try to solve this very interesting problem so the problem is that divide 120 into three parts so that the sum of their products taken two at a time shall be maximum so here let us try to solve this what is us 120 needs to be divided into three parts so this is something different so let us define let let us define three variables x y and z b the three parts three parts of 120 okay so what equation can we write directly sanga patapat this tell quick x y z these are three parts of 120 What does this mean? How will you put this? X plus y plus z is equal to one twenty. Very good. X plus y plus z is equal to one twenty. So this is the first equation, and this is the first relation we have obtained. Then we have to identify x and y and z in such a way that the sum of their products taken two at a time. So. let f b the sum of the products taken two at a time please tell what f is going to be f x y z is equal to sanga please tell x y y z and x z kay karaycha anta gunakar bhagakar beri gunakar solution ha x into y plus y y z into and z x z plus x z yes yes both are the same so friends try to understand so whatever the theory we have studied at the beginning of this session that was just extension of what you had studied during your 12th you, during 12th you knew only how to find maxima and minima for a function of two variable uh, only one uh, variable now we studied we th studied the theory to find maxima and minima for a function of two variables but this is something different than that so we have a function of three variables what can we convert this problem of this function which is originally involving three function three variables can it be converted into a function of only two variables x and y is your expert thoughts please tell try the problem is that we th we know the theory of finding maxima and minima for a function of only two variables and we have to apply that only but this is in which we have three variables so we have to eliminate some one variable suppose z is to be eliminated how to eliminate z 
जेड कैन बी रिटर्न इन वन ट्वेंटी माइनस वाई माइनस एक्स वेरी गुड फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एस 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 सो यूजिंग इक्वेशन वन यूजिंग इक्वेशन वन I can say f is equal to x into y plus y into z can be written as 120 minus x minus y plus x into z. Z is 120 minus x minus y. And let us simplify this. So this will be x into y plus 120 y minus x into y minus y square plus 120 x. Minus x square minus x into y, and therefore, yes. Therefore, I'll be saying f. Now it has become a function of two variables. So it will be nice if um, you remember. So, so what I'll say: one twenty x, one twenty into x plus one twenty into y. After that, minus x square. Minus y square. Then c plus x y minus x y minus x y. That will be minus x into y. I am calling this is as equation number two. See, very much successfully we have expressed the given function into a function of two variables. Now we know the theory of this. Now we have to identify x and y. Uh, means we have to find maximum of this function. Okay. Actually, it is maximum is us. Let us hope. that will be getting the same thing so again will you remember or shall i write on the next thing this f f of x y is equal to kya hota f of x y was 120 x plus 120 y then it was minus x square minus y square minus x into y and this was called as equation number 2 we have to differentiate it partially with respect to x and we will be getting 120x see the problem is really very very interesting uh, plus 0 minus 2x only 120 oh, sorry yes 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 so 120 um then minus 2x uh, minus y okay and therefore d by a by d by x is equal to 0 gives gives kainar sanga 2x plus y is equal to 120 i let us call this as equation number 3 fine now actually we know that the roles of x and y are the same but i am not going to Uh, write it directly. Uh, uh, I will solve. Otherwise, you may be in confusion. Dabba f by dabba y. Derivative of f partially with respect to y will be zero plus one twenty minus zero minus two y minus x. And dabba f by dabba y is equal to zero. Gives. We know. X plus two y is equal to one twenty. This is equation four. So see this equation three, equation four. We have to solve these simultaneously. So if you add or subtract, whatever you want to do, you do and tell me. Kainar, add karun pay zaga. So it will be three x plus three y is equal to two forty. Therefore, x plus y is equal to 80. Brother, let us call this phi. Now, 3 minus phi. How many times we have done? 3 minus phi. 3 minus phi gives. Tanga. 2x plus y. Manna x plus y. What is it? X is equal to. X minus to... y equal to zero. No, no, no. Hey, brother. 2x minus x. X sala. Y minus y cancels sala. Is equal to x equal to 40. Okay, na. Uh, and use use equation five. You will be getting y is equal to forty. Makai me ala ita ekad point me ala apne la na lakshya gya again. Uh, so therefore, the only stationary point is 
the stationary point is p x is equal to 40 and y is equal to 40 stationary point mail up the layer functions are okay so the next thing is that in the question, it is asked, find maximum value of the function, but we still do not know. Just we have to investigate whether at this point, x equal to 40, y equal to 40, the function is going to attain maximum or minimum. For that, let us find r, s, and t. So, r is equal to, r is equal to cancer, dab square f by dab x square. So, you see friend, dab f by dab x square, 120, minus 2x minus y. So what will be dab square f by dab x square? Minus 2. So I am writing minus 2. Then s. s ka is the dab square f upon dab x into dab y. So there are two, you can go, so differentiate dab f by dab x partially with respect to y. Kyle? Minus 1. Minus 1. Or differentiate dab f by dab y partially with respect to x you will get the same thing minus, minus one. and t t is equal to dab square f upon dab y square so kai minus 2 is in x and y will put in yes yes kiwa ita baga dab f by dab y 120 minus 2x minus x differentiate it again partially with respect to y you will be getting minus 2 so everything is there actually these are rst and but we have to write at this point stationary point because there can be more than sta one stationary points in a particular problem here only one and more thing is that all r s t are constant so again those are going to be the same r will be minus 2 s is equal to minus 1 t is equal to minus 2 and r t minus s square and r minus 2 into minus 2 minus minus 1 to the power 2 so this is will, will be equal to 3 as R, rt minus a square is positive and r is negative at i shall not forget at p 40 40 so the function attends please Maximum. 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 Maximum at P 40 40. Further. Further. F maximum. F maximum is equal to F of 40 comma 40. F kaya hota tumcha samur hai. Actually tumala part pan hai tumi sangit la pan hota. F when you upon ha di lila hai. Q abaga ha. Equation two. One twenty into x plus one and twenty into y and it take per kasak kartil tip pan bugi upon. Panatamala liu that one twenty x one twenty into forty. Plus one twenty into y. Manje again forty. Then minus x square minus 40 to the power 2 minus y square minus 40 to the power 2 uh, minus 40 into 40. Uh -huh. Prashna ka hoda divide 110 to actually maximum which are less no the work maximum which are less to no to have problem with it but not the ripon up on card hey hey as a card deal otherwise see friends otherwise uh, hey kadun zala but uh, actually it was unnecessary as far as this question is asked. So it is enough to say that uh, as RT minus S square is positive and R is negative, the function attains maximum at this point. So further, we can answer we have to divide 120 into three parts into three parts as x is equal to 40 y is equal to 40 and z ka hota 120 minus x minus y 40 so this much is needed to us still in addition to that we have found x f maximum also so 
so this was really a wonderful problem and let me tell you that when will be so you can take screenshot 3 4 seconds per screen when will be discussing another application of partial differentiation that is how to find maxima and minima for a function of three variables in during that also i am going to discuss this problem once again so we will be applying another method and we will be solving the problem with again the same solution so we have discussed six problems which are theoretical in nature now it is time to look after the online examination if f is a function of two variables having extreme values at point a b so this is a b is a stationary point then which of the following is true please tell these are four options in front of you asha paddhatine tumhala prashna yenar sppu online exam madhe that will not be conducted by us that will be conducted by university a option a option 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 a a a is the correct option yes Yes. How to find the stationary points? We have to solve these differential equations simultaneously. So A is the correct option. Then F is a function of two variables R double square by double x square S double square by double x into double y T equal to double square upon double y square. Ani R T minus S square positive R is positive at that stationary point A B. Then F has Sangha. Minimum. 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 C is the correct option. Yes. C is the correct option. Then this part is the same. Fakta kya hai? Isa kya hai? Which char le? Maksha ways madhe R positive hota hai, isa R negative. That is the only difference. Everything is same. Maximum. Maximum. Option A. Option A. So such problems will be for one mark. There will be problems either for one mark or two marks. Remember. so that will be combination so please tell here rt minus s square is negative then option b option b thanks neither maximum or minimum it is a saddle point okay now this asha <laughs> paddhati ne so the theme is that if there would have been theory examination then a question is asked for 4 5 or even 6 marks but if there is online examination then one problem is divided into two or three parts and only one part is asked like this here f is given find stationary value or values kay karaycha option c option c okay option let us find option c f sub x x म्हणजे डब बाय बाय डब बाय x काय तर 2x 6 fx 0 गिव्स 2x 6 मींस x 3 ओके okay. दे f sub x y म्हणजे डब बाय बाय डब y काय येणार 2y ओके सो fy 0 गिव्स 2y 0 मींस y 0 So x equal to minus three, y equal to zero. C is the correct option. One mark kala ki or two mark kala to malasya prashne na. Okay. I am moving for further. Now what is this? I think the same problem. Baga function te jaye. Ata ita stationary value nili to mala. And to mala saying itla. Yes, at this point, what is going to happen? If maximum asna re ka minimum asna re. So let us move to to back. Ata kai koro apan. इत आर आर मे डबल स्क्वेर एफ बाय डबल एक्स स्क्वेर दैट इज एफ एक्स एक्स सो दैट इज इक्वल टू टू एस का डबल एफ एक्स वाय सो डिफरशिट एफ एक्स पार्शली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाय और दिस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स दैट इज जीरो एंड टी टी विल बी एफ वाय वाय एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू टू सो आर टी माइनस एस स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू फोर ग्रेटर दैन जीरो एस एंड आर आर इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो संगा था मैक्सिमम का मिनिमम मिनिमम सर मिनिमम तो देयर विल बी मिनिमम सो बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके 
आता तुम्हाला नक्कीच कळालं असेल की कसं ब्रेक होत टेल मी सो हिअर एफ सफिक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू काय येणार पहिले वाय येणार ना प्लस ए टू द पॉवर थ्री इन टू डेरिव्हिटी ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स प्लस वन प्लस वाय पार्शली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स मायनस वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेअर मग एफ एक्स सफिक्स एक्स इक्वल टू झिरो घेऊन वाय इक्वल टू ए क्यूब अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेअर आता बघा ह्या प्रॉब्लेम मध्ये एक्स अँड वाय चा रोल सेम आहे जर इंटरचेंज केलं तर काय होईल वाय इन टू एक्स प्लस ए क्यूब इन टू वन बाय वाय प्लस वन बाय एक्स आलं की नाही सेम आलं की नाही मग त्याच्यामुळे मी डायरेक्टली लिहितो हे डबा एफ बाय डबा वाय इक्वल टू झिरो विल घेऊ एक्स इक्वल टू ए क्यूब अपॉन वाय स्क्वेअर सो सॉल्व दिस सायमल्टेनियसली सायमल्टेनियसली सॉल्व करा कसं करायचं बघा पहिलं काय तर एक्स स्क्वेअर इंटू वाय इज इक्वल टू ए क्यूब आलं दुसरं एक्स इंटू वाय स्क्वेअर इज इक्वल टू ए क्यूब आलं ना मग डिवाइड करा ना डिवाइड केल्यानंतर काय येणार प्लीज एक्स अपॉन वाय इज इक्वल टू वाय एक्स अपॉन वाय इक्वल एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाय आलं मग इथं टाका ना एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाय टाका म्हणजे एक्स क्यूब इक्वल टू ए क्यूब आलं ना म्हणजे एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए आलं आणि एक्स इक्वल टू वाय म्हणजे वाय इज इक्वल टू ए आलं सो सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सी ठीक आहे डेफिनेटली हा एक मार्काला नसणार हा दोन मार्काला प्रॉब्लेम असणार then here again baga f is given stationary value ka values mahit nahi ek asel don asti asha paddhatine ek asel value is values are so here f suffix x is equal to 6x minus 0 plus 3x square majhe mate ha sodavla so this equal to 0 gives 3 common enar hai x common enar hai so x plus 2 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 or x equal to minus 2 f suffix y so that will be 0 minus 2y so f option d yes y equal to 0 mo konte point aale p1 p1 is x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and p2 x equal to minus 2 y equal to 0 कुठला ऑप्शन डी डी ओके ओके सो लेटेस्ट मूव फर्दर नाउ दे आर टेलिंग एफ एंड झिरो झिरो इज स्टेशनरी व्हॅल्यू सो ऍट दॅट पॉइंट वेदर मॅक्झिमम ऑर मिनिमम दॅट इज आर मग काय करावं लागेल आर आर इज इक्वल टू सेकंड डेरिव्हिटी घ्यायचा आता एक्स क्यूब तर सेकंड डेरिव्हिटिव्ह पहिला डेरिव्हिटिव्ह काय आला थ्री इंटू एक्स स्क्वेअर दुसरा काय सिक्स इंटू एट त्याच्यानंतर याचा पहिला डेरिव्हिटिव्ह थ्री इंटू वाय स्क्वेअर दुसरा डेरिव्हिटिव्ह येणार झिरो येणार ठीक आहे मग मायनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वेअरचा पहिला डेरिव्हिटिव्ह मायनस सिक्स एक्स आणि दुसरं येईल मायनस सिक्स याचा पहिला डेरिव्हिटिव्ह झिरो याचा पहिला डेरिव्हिटिव्ह झिरो सो दिस इज ओके त्याच्यानंतर एस एफ ऑफ एक्स सफिक्स वाय आता काय करायचं याच्यामध्ये कोणते टर्म्स येतील एक्स इंटू वाय ज्या टर्म्स असतील ते तेवढे देणार वर काय याच्यामध्ये मग थ्री इंटू एक्स इंटू वाय स्क्वेअर एक्सने डिफरन्शिएट केलं तर थ्री वाय स्क्वेअर नंतर वायने डिफरन्शिएट केलं तर सिक्स वाय आणि टी एफ सफिक्स वाय वाय सो देर विल बी थ्री इंटू एक्स इंटू वाय स्क्वेअर वायचा वायचा डेरिव्हिटिव्ह पहिला काय येणार सिक्स इंटू एक्स इंटू वाय आणि दुसरा सांगा सिक्स एक्स नंतर मायनस थ्री वाय स्क्वेअर पहिला डेरिव्हिटिव्ह मायनस सिक्स वाय आणि दुसरा मायनस सिक्स ठीक आहे ना आणि त्याच्यानंतर आता झिरो झिरो ला काढूया आपण ऍट झिरो झिरो आर येत मायनस सिक्स एस येत झिरो टी येतो मायनस सिक्स सो आर टी मायनस एस स्क्वेअर किती येणार थर्टी सिक्स पॉझिटिव्ह आर इज निगेटिव्ह सांगा आर टी मायनस एस स्क्वेअर पॉझिटिव्ह आर निगेटिव्ह मॅक्झिमम काय मॅक्झिमम सो ए इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके आफ्टर दॅट दिस इज आय थिंक वी आर सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लेम मग तुम्ही सांगू शकता 
काय आलं होतं उत्तर मला माहित नाही बरं का ऑप्शन बी बी ओके बी वॉज द ऑप्शन अँड दॅट्स वॉर सो आय थिंक दिस इज वर ओके uh i think um, uh, hureker sir is there if he wants to add something then uh, hureker sir if he is listening oh sir no no problem sir it's fine uh, sir uh, so i think that uh, uh, we have discussed the theory uh, yes, to find maxima minima for a function of two variables uh, we have discussed six problems including some trigonometric and also we have discussed some mcq problems yes sir yes actually i was planning to finish uh, lagrange's method also but that will be too much in a session yes, now so we, think, next yes. time you can yes uh, during the next time also i will be preparing uh, some slides so that it will be very much convenient to you people also and uh, i am going to um, uh, share youtube link of the same so those uh, who want to see again or who have missed they, they can go through that once again so i think that uh, if dadu uh, sir do you want to say something dadu sir sir dadu sir is not there as dadu sir is not there he has already shared with you the attendance link so shall we stop yes sir yes sir send this pdf sir oh yes 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 i will i will थँक्यू सर एंड सेम एक्झामिनेशन साठी कोणते युनिट आहेत हां सर प्लीज टेल सर ऑल ऑल युनिट 1 टू 6 ऑल युनिट स्टार्ट देयर फॉर योर एंड सेम एक्झामिनेशन सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेअर व्हेरी वेल इट्स नॉट ओनली लाइक इन सेम एक्झामिनेशन टू युनिट्स इट देयर विल बी ऑल सिक्स युनिट्स फॉर ऑल सब्जेक्ट यस फॉर ऑल सब्जेक्ट यस यस ओके सेपरेट in 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 same examination first two units are there okay so you, you have already prepared those nicely as there was a, a, our uh, uh, college level examination as unit test one after that there was uh, online uh, in same examination okay but if uh, there would have been theory examination uh, final then there would have been only unit number 3 4 5 and 6 but because of pandemic this time the nsem examination is going to be in online mode and that is the reason why you will have to face all the six units unit 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and this is going to happen for all the subjects so i think that everything is very much clear to you what uh, saurabh jagtap what to and sir when we got our in same marks ha in same marks meetil na so th- these are ready with us uh, so we will be uh, sir kadhi sangayche they are ready for in same maybe on monday yes most probably uh, you will get marks on monday sir you, if we uh, release the scores also then also that will be yes uh, yes, will yes. Be the subject That's... teachers uh, means uh, subject coordinators will release your marks so if we release that you will be getting immediately uh, email and in that you yes. will be getting the scores okay so thank you very much